Grand Rising, Grand Arrival, Grand Return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I'm Sophia of the Marikana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transmutation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a, be- in a format that best serves our Creator. Today is Monday, July the 29th, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine State. We have our sun at 6 degrees of Leo. We have our moon getting ready to reactivate, re-aggravate uh, Neptune, I mean not Neptune, Uranus, Sedna, Mars, and Jupiter, but especially Uranus, which is in this opposition right now to um, Pallas Athena. Uranus being innovation, individuality, and disruption. Pallas Athena being wisdom, strategy, and integration of masculine and feminine. And the moon coming in and emotions and intuition and subconscious. So this is going to be a very, uh, it's, it's going to be an aggra- it's going to aggravate whatever is being worked on between Uranus and Pallas Athena. It's going to aggravate and activate that. Um, today, basically sometime at some point today, it's going to hit this 26 and it's definitely going to go into Gemini. So, uh, basically all of this is, is going to be going on today and we are getting closer to our new moon in Leo. So that's also another thing. The energy is starting to build for that. We have Mercury at two degrees of Virgo. So it moved a little itty bitty bit, um, not really, uh, that's just unusual. Um, it's moving very, very slowly. Um, we have our nodes still at eight degrees of Aries and Libra, respectively. And Pluto is still out there doing this thing, causing a lot of uh things to be shook up and, and addressed. So keep your eye on that energy because Pluto is trying with with those energies that's in Taurus um it's a lot going on so just just uh be cautious matter of fact this is making a whole trying energy with this moon and Uranus with Juno trying with Pluto so this is like a big triangle so it's a lot of energy going on with this so just you know Oh, and Sedna, too, is involved in that because of how close it is. I think it's a 10-degree orb for trying. So, yeah, keep an eye on all of that energy. One day, 24 of our moon cycle. Um, we're at 23.1 days old. This is our last quarter. We have 36.4% illumination with a 1.14 a.m. moon rise and a 3.35 p.m. moon set. For our astroterography, looking at the sun sign decan, we're in five of cups energy, and this is insight, depression, oh, insight, knowledge, and sadness, which is basically our depression card um, when you do too much thinking about those things. And this can be best transmuted through the five of pentacles, which is poverty, fear of loss, and isolation, which I call our helping hand card. And we can do this through the eighth house of Aquarius which is be careful not to let others in your surroundings control your life and to focus materialistic efforts on the common good. So as you focus on helping others around you, you indeed yourself will be um, given a helping hand, but you can't be given a helping hand until you give one out. For our North Node decan, we are in two of wands energy, which is plans, travel, New ideas. This is an outside influence card, and this can best be transmuted through the Two of Swords, which is indecision, solutions, and difficulties. And this is our intuition card. So, intuition is really going to be helpful right now. You could do this um, through the Fourth House of Libra, um, which is the more balance you have, the more the divine can intervene. So, use your intuition to stay balanced. Don't pick sides. Stay neutral. Um, Definitely don't give your energy away um, to anybody who doesn't deserve it. And that's where your intuition comes in. Is it a time for you to care or is it a time for you to not? 
So for our tree of life progressions and predictions, we're in three of pentacles energy, which is good results and teamwork. You can best transmute that through the three of cups, which is happiness and gratitude through the lens of your 10th house in cancer, which is to follow your emotions, be compassionate and forgive. So compassion, helping hands, intuition, happiness and gratitude. These things all work together. And if you're able to hold it together, you will be the recipient of some very, very um, um, good times, prosperous times. Because the Three of Cups, it looks like things are fruitful around them. You see the um, the pumpkin and the, all the stuff. It's very, very fruitful, like a cornucopia almost of stuff around them. And so you could be the recipient of that during this time. But remember, this energy ends on August the 6th. So you only got to hold together for a few more days because that Ten of Swords is going to be totally different. That's what's coming up next. So if you enjoy this type of astrology content, Please feel free to join us over on YouTube where my handle is Sophia Spiritualite. Thank you so much for joining us for today's daily transmutation report. Peace and blessings to all of you and we'll see you tomorrow.